Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I flat iron my hair. I've had quite a few younger girls come into the salon and um, have had issues with flat iron damage and especially, I mean, it's even to the point where they have only this much hair on the side because we flat iron this so much or there's only layers this long on the top because the rest of it is literally fried off. So I want to show you how I flat iron my hair. Um, I have wavy hair texture, but I blow dry it straight and I do most of my straining through my blow dry so I don't have to go over my hair a gazillion times with my flat iron. Um, you're going to need a few products. I'm using my heat protectant, it's a 10. I am using um, a blowout spray, it's by Alapui, it's a Paul Mitchell product. And it is a style amplifier, and I use that from my eyebrows all the way to the back, all over my top part, because that's where you're going to get your volume out of. And then I'm going to use Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny. It is a smoothing serum, and it helps to condition your hair. And it has a little bit of silicones in it, so it's nice and slippery. And usually I can't run my fingers through my hair, or it gets tangled, but that stuff helps so much. You're also going to need a um, paddle brush. And a soft brush. A soft brush is huge to me because um, I do not brush my hair before I blow dry it. I actually allow it to dry first because whenever your hair is wet, it can uh, stretch 50 to 70% its size. And that, if you are stretching your hair that far, um, and you will end up uh, making it more susceptible to damage because you can actually um, pull your hair apart while you're breaking it. So I allow my hair to dry first as I blow dry and then you'll see me go back in with my soft brush and brush my tingles out and then use my bigger paddle brush um, for the rest of the tutorial. Uh, you're also going to need a clip. I'm using my awesome alligator or crocodile clip because it can hold a lot of hair. And then I'm also going to use my Pro Tools by Paul Mitchell blow dryer and my Sultra flat iron. If you have a flat iron that, flat iron that has a temperature gauge on it, um, unless you have really kinky curly hair or ethnic hair, do not use it at 400. You might want to because it's hotter and it goes faster and it'll get your hair flatter. You're actually going to sizzle your hair off. Um, I recommend around 300 to 320 for your hair, um, if you have curly hair, around 340. Don't put it on that 400 though. And if you don't have one that has a heat setting, um, you're gonna see me flat iron my hair and I only go through, I usually don't do my roots unless I need to because it's already straight there unless you have curly hair. Um, I also go through my hair only once. Again, I have a wavy hair texture but I blow dry that out and then I only go over it one time because I don't want my hair to turn into a frizzy uh, fried mess. So I'm going to go ahead and start the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Alright, so how I'm going to start is with damp hair and I already have my products applied. I actually flip my hair to the other side, but for blow drying, I'm going to flip my hair the opposite way that I um, normally wear my hair. That's going to give you volume. So I'm going to turn my blow dryer on and I'm going to blow dry my very top part to the opposite side. Also see me move my blow dryer back and forth and shake my hair. This creates it to where you're not putting heat only in one spot and holding it there. You never want to leave heat on your hair in one spot with using any hot tool for a long period of time. So this is going to help blow dry it out fast, especially if you have long hair. Then I'm going to blow dry my sides and make sure that those are as dry as the top. Then bring your hair from the back and pull it forwards and continue to move your blow dryer back and forth to dry your back section. And then I blow dry it kind of just all over. I look like a crazy line with my hair blow dried, but uh, this is how you gotta do it. Now that I have 90% of the water out of my hair, I'm going to go back in with my soft brush and take out all of the tangles and make sure it's nice and smooth. So now we're going to find our part, and I, like I said, I part on the left side, and then you're going to split it in half down the back and bring all of your hair forwards. And then I'm going to take my um, lovely alligator clip, which is one of my favorite clips ever because it holds my long hair up, and I'm going to pull, pull a small section from the bottom part of my hair. And then I'm going to clip the rest of it all up. And we're going to actually finish our blow dry. And if you have long hair, this is where a paddle brush comes in handy. Um, I love to use paddle brushes to blow dry my hair because they're a larger brush and you can get more of your hair into it. And I'm going to pull my hair down and away from my head 
and I'm going to move my blow dryer back and forth and continue to dry this. This is going to slightly pull on your hair, not too much to where we're going to do any damage, but just enough to where we're going to straighten out your hair so that your blow dryer is going to do most of the work and we don't have to put as much heat on it as with a flat iron. Continue to blow dry the rest of your hair in this same process, taking down small sections and using your paddle brush to blow dry the rest of it out. And we're going to part our hair into two sections again, and then I'm going to pull a small amount of hair out from the bottom, and this is what we will flat iron first. So clip up your hair out of your way so we can begin to flat iron on the bottom. Um, I like to keep it my flat iron mainly on my ends from right about there. If you have curl, you can go up to your scalp, but um, there really is no point because the rest of your hair is already straight. So using my paddle brush, I'm going to hold my hair in it before my flat iron, and then I'm going to pull my flat iron down. And you can see I went over that twice, and I'm going to go over my ends in those spots once on each side. finished flat ironing and it is beautifully flat but not too flat because I still have a bunch of volume in it so I don't feel like I have pinned straight here. I hope this helps and enjoy. Make sure